Now that we've built our entire application and uh, we have it running on our own system, uh, it would be nice if we could deploy that out somewhere to be just on the wide internet. Now, for this specific app, it's only going to work for us because we're the only one who is going to have the, the server running on our own computer. Uh, but if you build your own U.RS or apps that don't have rely upon a server only on your own computer, um, this is how we could possibly deploy that out. We're going to use GitHub Pages for this. There's a few things that we need to do to get this up and running. So first of all, uh, we're going to head over to GitHub. Uh, so this is the full stack Rust course. I'm going to sort of go ahead and deploy this out here. Um, you're going to use whatever repo you have your application in. Uh, we're going to go to settings. Um, and then down here on the left, we have under code and automation pages. Uh, now, I've already sort of like played around with this previously, so you're not going to have a your site has been published already. Uh, instead, it's just going to be asking you, hey, publish your site by setting this. So you can choose a branch. So for example, um, I think it starts with none. Uh, I'm going to choose the main branch. And I'm not going to choose slash for root because what this is looking for is where are the um, where is like indexed HTML? Where are the JavaScript files? Where are the WASM files? Where do those go? I'm going to say that they're going to go into a docs, uh, a docs folder. Going to hit save. And there it goes. Okay, so we're ready to go. Uh, it tells us here is our application. Um, actually, this is remembering it from the, the previous times that I've had it. Uh, so I'm just going to go over and show you what the steps are to get this up and running. One thing is take note of this folder of where things are going, because uh, by default, our web apps are thinking that it's going to be in slash, but it's actually not. It's going to be in a folder inside of here. So we need to set a base URL, but we don't do that ourselves in index.html. We're going to have trunk set that up for us. So we're going to head over to trunks um, uh, documentation here and under assets and directives, uh, we can instruct Trunk to set that base URL for us. Uh, so it's, it's a two-step process. First of all, we need to add in this tag to our head inside of our indexed HTML. So under uh, frontend Rust use solution indexed HTML, I am going to, right before the close of head, add in a base, add in this tag. That's all I need to do. Next, I need to come back to here. And it wants us to, when we do a trunk build, we need to also pass it in this public URL. So we're going to copy that, come to our terminal here, and we're going to do a trunk. So I'm in the correct, uh, I'm in the, the solution branch here. So we're going to say trunk build trunk uh, build, we're going to build it for release mode. And we're also going to set the public URL. And the public URL has to be this thing here. No pre slash needed, I believe it's going to uh, add that in for us. So I'm going to copy you, put you in here. So um, I've already pre-built all of this code in release mode, so it would be a little bit faster. This is going to be a full compile for everything else, which um, it does take a little bit of time. So OK, it has created everything and it's put them into the dist folder, just like uh, where everything else has been so far already. So we're going to head over to in solution dist and take a look at what it built for us. So first of all, we see our base href is now this slash full stack to do Rust course. OK, great. Uh, and we can see that all of these uh, index files being loaded in are indeed now trying to go to this slash. OK, great. This is exactly what we want. Now, we need to get all of these files into a docs folder in the root of the module because we can't have it like drill down and find a whole like a, a nested directory. It just doesn't work that way. So I'm going to in 
the base of the project, create a new folder called docs. I'm going to take these and I'm going to copy them in here. Now, if you're doing this in a CI CD system, this is where you might create the docs folder at that point in time, uh, copy, um, run the build, um, copy these files into here and uh, commit and then push them up. Okay, so going to now uh, commit. Okay, so all those are saved. We should be good. So deploying app. Gonna save this and push this on up. Okay, so that's uh that has been pushed up. I should now be able to uh to verify that it is up. Here's our docs, here's our index.html. Okay, everything's good here. If I now open up in settings, pages, we can now go to this app and uh, that opened up uh, the readme. Um, not exactly what, go to pages, main to docs. I saved it already. Why did you come here? Oh, I had a, I had to shift refresh to uh, to get it to clear the cache and uh, load everything up. But here it is, we have our application now. Everything should be working because it's reaching out to localhost for uh, for everything. So I should be able to log in. But if you try to send this, uh, like send somebody else to go open this, they're not going to have the server running on you know their computers. So therefore, it's not going to work. But you can imagine that if you had a separate API and you have that running on some kind of other um, URL, then you can now point all of your API calls to that, and then it would be working. Uh, however, that is not going to be part of this course. I'm not going to provide an API you know, deployed for you. So with that, um, we have now deployed our app uh, for free to get up pages. Get up pages is great for testing type things and like uh, documentation. It is not great for hosting for something that you want to be like, scaled up quite a bit. But for something like this, it is perfect. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and uh, good luck with your deploys and happy coding. Bye.